Good day everyone, this is Joseph Larry. Welcome to my uh, YouTube channel. In this tutorial video, we'll be looking at panel data analysis using Stata. Specifically, we'll be using Stata 17. So this is Stata 17 interface. And I have in the software the data to be used for this tutorial. At this uh, right hand side, we at the variable window, we have, you see something like company cross ID here in this. This shows that the software is already populated with data. Now to access this data, just come to the command window and type browse. We have the variable display. Now these variables has been put in the panel data form. You know, panel data basically it combines both cross-sectional data and time series data. It contains observations across cross-section over time. Okay, when we talk about cross-section, cross-section could be any entity, it could be company, it could be country. It could be any entity. In this case, we're using company as example. So here we have company about 10 companies. Mm -hmm. Company 1 to 10. Yes. Yeah. Okay. These are the companies. So these are the cross section. Cross ID. This cross ID are just like a unique identifier. Okay. They are unique to each of the cross section. So 1 is for company 1, 2 is for company 2, 3 is for company 3, and all the likes like that. Now, this is a time series uh, part of the panel data. You see the year. Okay, uh, we company one is from 1995 to 2014. Company two repeat the same trend 1995 to 2014. Okay, company three repeat the same trend 1995 to 2014. And then we have invest, these are the variables. Yeah, we have invest, we have share, we have capital. The variables we are going to use for this uh, video. So let's go back to the software. All right, this is the Stata interface. Now, the first thing we need to do is to declare the variable as a panel data, okay? This will communicate to the software that we are want to do. What we want to do is a panel data analysis. And how do we do that? We will type in this code. stset cross id, yeah. All right, you see the display, right? Uh, this shows that the software already recognized that we want to do panel data uh, analysis. Now, this code that I enter, STC cross ID, yeah, you cannot take it hook, line, sinker. It depends on how you set your data. Now, let's go back to our data. You realize that, yeah, what I have here is cross ID. If I had something like CID, then what I will have after my STC will be CID. If I have something like country ID, if I have something here like time, then what I will have there would not be here but time. So it depends on the settings, the naming of your uh, variables in a panel form. Uh, so uh, now we have the variables declared as panel. The next is to go into business proper. Now uh, we are going to be looking at, at, uh, at three, we're going to be looking at three uh, uh, panel data estimation. Uh, estimation here we'll be looking at uh, pool OLS we'll be looking at uh, fixed effect and we'll be looking at random effect now pool OLS is just like a normal OLS okay it does not account for individual peculiarities uh, in the of the cross sessions it assumes homogeneity like all the cross session combined together they have similar characteristics okay so we assume that they have similar characteristics they have similar hard attributes and then it does not account for these individual differences among the uh, cross section in the model. And then, how do we estimate poor LS? You come to the command window and type stset, uh, strec, sorry, strec. Then the the de dependent variable come first. But then, before we go that, why don't we transform our data? so that we can have a, a better result, okay? Now to transform the data, I mean, I want to log the data. I'm going to type in this, generate. Then what comes next is the name you want to give the variable, the new variable. I am going to type lean invest, and then equal to log of invest. By invest, I mean this variable, okay? Then I close the bracket generate if you look at the variable window you realize that it has been populated we can do the same thing for our capital generate lane capital equals to 
log of cup of two. Perhaps click on enter button. We can do the same thing for what again? Share. Generate lint share equal to log of share. Yes, please. And then we have it populated. So we have transformed our variables and the oh, uh, variable window here has been populated. So uh, right now we can go on and estimate our pool OLS. How do we do that? You type strreg and then the dependent variable come first. In this case, we take invest for this for tutorial sake. And then we click on all of the independent variable we are adopting for the model. In this case, uh, link capital, log of capital. Okay, just come to this right, uh, this uh, icon here. Click on it. It will populate it in the command window. Link share. Click on it. Yes. And then you click on enter. Wait for a few seconds. You have the result generated. Now this is pool OLS. But one of the limitations of this uh, technique is that it does not account for individual heterogeneity uh, of the cross sessions. Each of the cross sessions, it has on that they have unique attributes, which might not be so. Okay, that is what leads us to fixed effect and random effect. Now, fixed effect and random effect account for individual heterogeneity. It, they recognize the control for individual differences in the cross session. Okay, company A has unique attributes, might have a unique attribute compared to com company B, company 2, and company A might have a, a unique attribute. Okay, compared to country, uh, company two, company two, compared to company three, and down the line like that. So, what fixed and random effect does is that it control for individual heterogeneity. Now, let's talk about fixed effect. Now, fixed effect assume that yes, we have uh, the model, this cross section, they have individual attributes. Okay, but these attributes are correlated with the regressors, they are correlated with the regressors and they are time invariant. I mean, yes, they do not change uh, with respect to time, okay, but they differ from one cross section to another. That is the assumption of a fixed effect. So, the way it accounts for this in individual heterogeneity differences among cross section is that it assumes that there are differences, they are to be accounted for, but they are time invariant. I mean, they do not vary uh, uh, with respect to time, okay, but they vary with respect to cross session. Now, how do we estimate using fixed effect? strreg, then the dependent variable come, invest, the independent variable follow, and then uh, after that, you put comma and type fe. Then you click on the enter button. Okay, we have the result. Now, one thing with fixed effect is that these individual peculiarities or the heterogeneity in the model are accounted for in the constant, the intercept. Okay, all the differences you have within the cross sessions, they are accounted for in the intercept. And the coefficient, I mean, the coefficient we have for link capital and for link shear, they represent the common effect across entities. Okay, controlling for individual heterogeneity. Is that clear? So, uh, yeah, we have uh, the result display. Okay, this correlation is showing correlation between the uh, uh, the uh, error entity within entity error and the regressor. It's one of the assumption of fixed effect. Okay, so this shows number of observations, the number of cross sessions we have. Okay, this shows the joint statistics, the joint uh, uh, statistics. Okay, test whether all the coefficients in the model are jointly different from zero. Okay, in this case, uh, we have to reject uh, null hypothesis that these are statistically they are jointly different from zero. So this is a very uh, good result. Normally, if this probability is less than 0 0.05, then the model is the model is okay. We have the coefficient. Yeah, we have the constant. Okay, and this is our uh, two tip value. Okay, it tests the hypothesis of each of the uh, variable. Okay, 
and uh, evaluate and 0.05 reject null hypothesis and conclude that the predictor has a that the predictor has a significant effect in the outcome so if the probability value is less than 0 0.05 uh, then we uh, we are going to reject the null hypothesis that they are not significant and accept that they are significant a uh, little different from they have significant effect on the on the outcome so this is fixed effect random effect also control for individual heterogeneity but it assumes that these individual differences in cross section are random and not fixed okay and they are not correlated uh, with the predictor or independent variable okay so the random effect account for these differences in both the constant intercept and the slope how do we uh, estimate a random effect you come here we use basically the same formula but then we change this to re all right st rec the uh, dependent variable the independent variable then we have a re that is a random effect then you click on enter you have your result now you will see that the correlation between the within error time and the regressor is assumed to be zero that is the assumption of a random random effect and then uh, we have our result displayed now how do we know whether fixed effect is the best estimator for the panel data random effect is the best estimator pool if uh, the, then pool OLS is the best estimator it depends sometimes if you truly understand the characteristics of each of this cross section you might be able to you might have an idea of which one might be appropriate but then if you can there are tests you perform okay so in this video we're going to limit it between fixed and random effect okay uh, there is a test we perform to choose which is better between fixed and random effect in subsequent video we're going to look at between pool OLS and fixed effect or pool OLS and random uh, effect all right so in this case we want to choose the better model is a fixed model the best uh, uh, estimate this data or random effect so what do we need to do uh, we need to conduct do the regression again uh, fix effect you run your fix effect and then when you run the uh, fix effect you type this code est store fixed all right we are telling the data to store the regression first okay and then we run for random effect okay random effect we're running it again we run the random effect and then we tell it to to store again est store we call it random and then from these two we can now select all right how do we select you type in uh, this code choosing you type in Osman. Osman is a test that is uh, conducted to choose between two estimator Osman. then we have fixed that is what we store it with random okay and then we click on enter all right uh, see what we have here the null hypothesis is that random uh, effect is more efficient is to be chosen that is the null hypothesis the null hypothesis favor random effect now look at probability a probability we decide whether to reject or accept null hypothesis looking at this we are to reject null hypothesis and accept the alternative it makes the fixed effect should be considered uh thank you for watching if this is your first time kindly subscribe to the channel turn on notification button for uh, more updates thank you see you in my next video